There are some sights in Star Citizen that immediately draw you into the world around you, and that's true of the crashed javelin on Daymar. The scale of the ship, the scope of the disaster, and the story that sits behind it, these are the things that pique the interest. And so this video will take a closer look at the javelin wreck on Daymar, why you might visit, how you can get there, and a little of the story behind it. I'm Farrister and enjoying some of the places to go out and explore in Star Citizen is one of the main reasons that this Location Spotlight series exists, so you're invited to sit back and enjoy as we fly down to the surface of Daymar to visit the Crashed Javelin. Those who know their Star Citizen will know that the Javelin-class destroyer is a huge capital ship, a combat powerhouse many hundreds of metres long. They will also know that taking out such a warhorse is no mean feat. The crashed Javelin in question carried a name, the UEES Flisser, and was a serving ship in the UEE Navy. In 2862, nearly a hundred years ago, the destroyer was tasked with dealing with large-scale, unauthorised mining on Daymar. One of the unauthorised miners represented an explosive mix of poor maintenance and volatile ore, such that, as the flisser was pursuing it, the engines were pushed too far and the mining ship detonated in explosive fashion. The shockwave caused significant damage to the flisser, damage that was made much worse by the attempts to flee. The end result was a series of unlikely but catastrophic events, leading to this majestic beast sitting on the surface of the moon, tragically lost with all hands. There's more to this story, and I'd highly recommend anybody visiting the Astro Historian channel, where Paul expertly narrates the tragic story of the Daymar Javelin in more detail. For explorers looking to find the wreck of the Flisser, there are a couple of methods. Heading to the quantum travel point of New N Waste Management, and then turning to a bearing of 234 degrees and flying for 156.5 kilometres is a reliable method, with most ships making the trip in 3 to 4 minutes. Alternatively, it's possible to fly down from space in which case there's a handy guide from K9 on YouTube which guides you through it. Once you get to the site, the overwhelming impression is one of a ship at a huge scale overrun by nature. The sand and rocks of the moon half burying the ship, which is strewn out over a long debris field. The internals of the ship are sealed off, save for a couple of the main thrusters, and the bridge, which was thrown from the ship upon crashing. A sombre reminder that even the grandest of giants may be laid to rest in the end. The wrecked javelin on Daymar is an interesting place to go out and visit simply as a sight to see in the verse, to think about some of the stories past and present, and the future that you might write in the game. If you'd like to see more such sights past and present, you might be interested to explore the other Location Spotlight videos on this channel. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you might like to consider that, to have YouTube show you more videos like this in future. If you'd like to see more videos like this made for the channel, please do press that like button, as it's helpful for me to know what videos to focus on. In any event, I'll be sure to read your thoughts on the tragedy of the UEES Flisser, or any suggestions for other places to visit in the comments below, but otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.